Hello guys, in this lesson we are going to start to build the equation of motion related to the wheel model in system dynamics perspectives, okay? And so we have a title in here, one wheel model, and so we need to create the free body diagram related to the wheel model, okay? And so in the first place uh, we should drive the plane in here like this one and so we have a plane parameters in here with the center of these things and so we have the radius value with the representation of the r in here and so we have a rotation like this one and so we need to define the theta value to represent the degree of this wheel okay and so additionally we have a translational motion in here with the representation of the x or in the direction of the x and so we can build the model and how about this the, if we have a, a such kind of system dynamics model and so we need to build the state and the input variable and so <coughs> in this model the state can be given by the theta value and x value and so how about the input value? Input value is given by like this one, torque value in this notation. And so, if we have a such kind of torque with the rotational or, or translational motion, the with the representation of the x, and so we need to also a FF value, which is the friction factor of this wheel between the wheel and the plane. Okay, <coughs> and so. These are the free body diagram related to the wheel model and so we can start to build the equation of motion by using these terms okay and so then we get now the this factor and so <coughs> If we have the input variable and the state variable in here, the torque must be equal to the what? The state energy consumption. Okay? Because torque is energy and so to the given to the system and so the system should be consumed by using the state variable or the motion parameter in both the translational and rotational form of these things. And so, how can we consume the energy on this wheel model the wheel model has the inertia factor which is the proportional with the theta dot dot value okay and so we have also another force parameter or the torque parameter coming from what the friction force times r value okay and so torque must be equal to the what equal to the f f times r plus the acceleration factor of on the wheel model okay and so the total given energy is represented by the torque value and so the acceleration and the force times r creates the consumption energy form on this equation how about the translational motion in here translational motion directly related to the what to x direction x direction has possessed the f f value friction force factor and so the m times x dot dot which is given by the translational motion of the this wheel model okay these are two equation are given to us to build the equation of motion okay and so we have also a, another factor in here which the x must be equal to the what the r times theta okay which is the result of the geometrical factor <coughs> in here <coughs> because the geometry gives us this information because the wheel is the rigid but in the real life it cannot be rigid but uh, in our assumption the wheel force or wheel m or inertia or the body is 
going to be rigid okay and so we can easily write these things but the wheel is not a rigid form and so we cannot use this assumption okay and so x dot is also r is not time dependent and so times theta dot and so x dot dot must be equal to what r times theta dot dot okay this is our representation and so we can reorganize the whole equation by using these terms like this one okay and so i'm selected the green line in here and then the torque minus f f times r must be equal to the what is equal to do this one j times theta dot dot okay and so this coming from to what the torque is equal to the j times theta dot dot plus m times x dot dot times r because the m x dot dot coming from the translational motion by using the equation of two okay this is the equation of two this is the equation of one and so we can replace it the equation two or we can use it into the equation one form okay and so theta dot dot can also be translated by the x dot dot or the acceleration of the translational motion okay and so in the second place we can write this equation like this one torque must be equal to the what equal to the j times x dot dot divided by r plus m times r times x dot dot okay and so this is the r general equation <coughs> which is given by the x state and the torque value as an input variable and so the final equation must be equal to the what equal to the this one torque must be equal to do x dot dot times m times r plus j divided by r these are general equation of motion for a given system but but we need to also add the friction factor coming from the air or the rotational motion because if you don't have the, any friction factor in here and so this system is going to the what is going to the infinity at all the torque value and the state space value in the in the real life application there should be always a damping ratio which is represented by the c factor in the system dynamics equation okay and so what about this we can also add this equation of motion like this one the friction factor can be given by in here friction air and so the friction air can be given by like this one c times x dot x dot is the translational motion and so we can add also this equation by using this notation okay and so what about this <coughs> the torque value must be equal to the what the x dot dot times m times r plus j divided by r plus x dot must be equal to the what must be equal to the c times r and how can we add the r value in here in this notation the torque value is in the unit of the newton times matter and so this force value or the unit of this force is the newton and so we need to create the torque value coming from these things and so the r can be used in order to <coughs> translate or convert this term into the torque value and so this is the our final equation to represent the one wheel model or the equation of motion of the wheel model in the system dynamics perspectives okay these are general notation in here <coughs> and so we need to create the or we need to calculate the j and m value by using the shape parameters and the material selection but in the next lesson we will focus on it and so um, we we can use the m and j factors
as a constant in here but as an engineer we need to design it by using the based on the uh, shape parameter and the material selection factor okay